because we all know, shoot, you probably know it better than I. Uh, climbing to the top is easy. But staying at the top for that period of time and navigating staying there is very hard. You know what I mean? I like that you said that because a lot of people will probably disagree with you and say climbing to the top is not easy. When you prepare yourself to run hard, run fast, and compete at a high level, climbing to the top is pretty easy. You just have to be consistent, you know what I'm saying, with your competition. When you get out there, you have to be consistent with your competitiveness. And then by the time you look up, you're really one of those dogs who's sitting at the top because you worked hard for that. But like you said, staying at the top is the hard part because now when you're at the top, what's going to be in question is your integrity, your consistency, but also what habits. A lot of athletes have habits that they push to the side to get to the top but then those habits start to come back because now you become a little lax. You'd be like, ah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm good. I'm the man. I'm the woman. You know what I mean? I can go out, party, have a good time. But then while you're doing all those kind of things, those people who were behind you trying to jog for a position that you beat out for that position, they're still working. They're still trying to build themselves up to beat you to get that spot. So, yeah, holding that position is a hard place to stay, you know, for sure. I think um, to what you just said, a lot of a lot of athletes, or I mean, I don't even think that could be an athlete thing. I think that could be a life thing. You know what I mean? Success and sacrifice goes hand in hand. A lot of people don't understand what that means. You will have to sacrifice something for your success, whether it be family time, whether it be where you put the alcohol bottle down, where you put the fast food down, where you, you know, you have to let some friends go. You know what I mean? You have to walk alone for a while. Those type of sacrifices you have to do on when you're climbing your way to the top. But what makes that easier is if, if, if nobody expects you to be the guy to be at the top. Because nobody's, that light isn't on you at all. You know what I mean? They just like, oh, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. And then boom, then you're here. So the reason why I may say, and you probably could expound on this a little bit, uh, it's harder to stay at the top is once you have the lights, camera, action, now everybody's tugging on your coattail. Can you take this picture? Can you do this photo op? Can you do this interview? Now your focus level is not the same because now you are training in the dark. You remember when you was coming back and you told me about it, just training in the dark, training like an animal, like a caged animal, and then you turned into a beast. But you had to, you had to train like the animal first. Your mind you know had I mean? to be there first before you get your body there. Exactly. So now, yeah. you know, once you're at the top, you, you possibly, if you don't have the right mindset, could turn into a pampered pooch. <laughs> 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 Am I lying? Hey, you ain't lying, though. You're right. Now, money is not an option anymore. Yeah. You have the attention. You definitely have options. And if, 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 if you like girls or, or guys to pick, not you liking guys, but I'm just saying like female or male, you yeah. know what I mean? Uh, so that's not like a, a thing. So talk to, and you probably could use this part to tell somebody how to navigate stardom or how did you navigate stardom once it got to you? There's two tip. There's two type of winners. There's a winner who wants to win once and then they don't care. They want to get that Olympic gold medal, what they worked hard for, what they dreamed about as a kid. They want to make it to the top. They want to get on top of that podium. They want to have that medal around their neck. They want to hear the national anthem play, and then they're done. They want that medal. That's it. They didn't think past that any further to think, I'm the man or I'm the woman now, and I got to keep up this same routine of being the winner. Then their mind starts thinking like, I didn't, I didn't prepare for this moment. I didn't prepare to keep on being the winner. So that's why you see a lot of people come and go that's why you see a lot of winners win once and then they can't win again or they can't duplicate their dominance because they never, it was never in their playbook to even do so. You feel me? But now the other type of winner is those people who are obsessed with the process. The ones who want to win and want to keep winning. It's not necessarily about the gold medal or the accolades. It's the fact that they want to go through that same process of feeling like they're unstoppable, unbeatable. They want to feel all the way from that hard work from November, that fall training, that grind, 
that speed endurance training through January, that precise training through February, March, and then they want to be unleashed to go out there and compete at a high level and beat all their competitors over and over and over again. Those are the two type of winners that you have. So when you watch, when you watch people go out there and you say, oh, man, they ain't never, hey, why they do that? Why, why we ain't see that person anymore? You got to ask yourself that question. Do they really want to win three Olympic medals or do they just really want to win one? That's really what it comes down to. 